Isn't it crazy that this is what everybody's first picture looks like? But what if I told you this technology wasn't made to detect babies, but was instead invented during World War I to hunt down enemy submarines? Let me explain. In the early 20th century, the US Navy was struggling to defend against the German submarines that could hide underwater and attack without being detected. You see, the current radar technology at the time just didn't work underwater. But in 1950, French physicist Paul Langevin discovered that we could instead use sound waves. It worked by sending out high-pitched frequencies into the water, and when these sound waves encountered something solid, like a submarine, they would bounce back. And then by measuring the time it would take for the sound wave to echo back and the strength of this echo, the system was able to locate the submarine. Later in 1956, British obstetric doctor Ian MacDonald used the same idea to see inside the womb of a pregnant woman. He sent sound waves into the body and because softer tissue, bones and fluids all reflect sound differently, he was able to create the first image of a baby's head. And since then, the technology has become much more detailed and can now capture the very first moments of life. I think it's beautifully poetic that a technology born out of conflict now creates memories that last a lifetime. Follow for more medical explainers like these.